Hey, what's up, guys? This is Anurag back with another video. And in this video, I will be showing how to install MIUI 10 China Beta ROM on your Redmi Note 4. So, without wasting any more time, let's begin with the video. So, first of all, as this is China Beta ROM, not a stable ROM, hence there will be some bugs. So, do keep that in mind. And to install this ROM, you will need an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed. If you don't have an unlocked bootloader, then I have already made a detailed video on that. So do check that video out. And to download the zip file, open this XDA thread. The link is in the description box below. Open this link and download the MIUI 10 zip file. Also, if you are using official TWRP recovery, then you will need to download the lazy flasher zip file. Or if you are using the Redwolf TWRP recovery, then you will not need to download the lazy flasher zip file. Currently, I am using Nitrogen OS based on Android Oreo. If you want me to review this ROM, then please let me know in the comment section below. Now, I will switch off this device and boot this device into custom recovery. In order to do that, switch off your device and hold volume up and power button together to boot into recovery mode. Now, the device is booted into recovery mode. Here I am using official TWRP recovery, but I will highly recommend you to use Redbolt TWRP recovery if you are using MIUI ROMs because there is lot of features in Redbolt TWRP recovery. Now you will need to wipe your current ROM. In order to do that, go to wipe and select swipe to factory reset. Once that is done, and select the ROM zip file and swipe to install. Once the installation is done, as I said, install the lazy flasher zip file if you are using official TWRP recovery. Once done, simply reboot the device into system. And as you can see, the device is finally booted in MIUI 10. Let me configure this device quickly, then I will come back to you. And in addition, in my initial use, the ROM feels buttery smooth. I mean it feels very light compared to the MIUI 9. Also the performance is now increased. And as this is China build, there is no Play Store installed by default. You will need to sideload it. It is very easy. Open your MIUI app store, then search for Google. Then scroll down to the bottom and select this icon. Here install the first app and follow the on-screen instruction. It will install all necessary APKs that are required to run Google Play services. Once installation is finished, you are good to go. Now let me show you some features in MIUI 10. And if you are wondering what Android version it has, then let me tell you, it is currently running Android version 7.0 NuGet. Let's hope in global beta version or global stable version, comes with latest android oreo. Now let me show you some changes in MIUI 10. Recently I have already made a video on that but that time I don't have any supported device. So now let me show you some changes. The first change you will see in the notification panel. As you can see it is more transparent now and the brightness slider also got the new design. Now it is bigger and much more easier to control. And finally, the volume buttons now can adjust the media volume by default. And also, it got new design like your Android P. Then next, we have the new recent app menu. And in my opinion, that is the biggest change in MIUI 10. Because it is not copied from anywhere and also it looks very cool. Then you can swipe right or left to any app to close that particular app. And if you press and hold any app, then it will show you three more options. Moving to camera app, I think the camera is improved a little bit. Also the camera app got new look. And then if you go into settings, then there is new video option available. It is full HD 60 FPS. Also, MIUI 10 has AI portrait for single camera phones. But as of now, there is no such feature available in this ROM. 
I hope MI will bring this feature in future updates. Next is the fingerprint scanner performance. And I have to say, it is improve a lot. It unlocks the phone very fast. As you can see on your screen, And as I said, this is an alpha ROM, so there will be some bugs. Here are some bugs that I face right now. The first bug is the notification blur is not working sometimes. Also the stock camera app crashes sometimes. So these are the two bugs that I have faced. But if you cannot wait for the global beta or the global stable ROM, then you can definitely flash this ROM as there is no such major bugs. So definitely give it a try. So that was the quick video on how to install MIO 10 on your Redmi Note 4. If you have any more doubts, suggestions or queries for this video then do let me know in the comment section below. Also if you have liked this video then give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more techie videos like this. And that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Anurag and I will see you later guys.